الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد الله تبارك وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا ليعبدون Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created mankind in the jinn for the purpose of worshiping him subhana. All of this creation, as vast as it is, as quiet and as beautiful as it is, is here for the purpose of allowing us to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and benefit from it. Using this in order to come closer to Allah. Not to just sit in awe without a purpose, but to reflect on the signs of Allah. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارِ وَالشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمْرِ لَا تَسْجِدُ لِلشَّمْسِ وَلَا لِلْقَمْرِ وَاشْجِدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي خَلَقُهُنَّ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ إِيَّاهُ تَعْبُدُونَ that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created this. He said, from his signs is the day and the night, the sun and the moon. Do not prostrate to the, to the sun, nor to the moon, but rather prostrate to Allah, the one who created this, who created it. If it is him you truly worship, in kuntum iyahu ta'budun. If it is Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you truly worship. This is the na'mah. Min ni'amillah. And we ask Allah the Almighty, from all of His divine names and attributes, to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from kulli su wa makru. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم